While I was away from YouTube on what I like to call the finding myself arc, there were a lot of games I played simply for myself because I felt like I had too many ongoing playthroughs on the channel that were just unfinished. But before I touch on that more, shout out to Square Enix for sponsoring today's video. I had a homie that played Near Replicant and he was talking about it was gas, favorite game of all time. And I'm like, relax. So I tried it and it was gas. I played the heck out of it. Can't say it's my favorite game by any means, but it was definitely something I would deem worthy of bragging to you guys about. After Near Replicant, I then went on to go play Near Automata, and that was also a one of a kind journey that I just liked more or less than the first game. Well, right after I beat Near Automata, that was when I got the offer to play the newest Near game, Near Reincarnation. Now, I don't know where this fits in the timeline of the previous games. I don't know how it plays at all. This was my first experiences playing it with y'all, and I, I don't know. Like, it's really, it was fucking dope. You feel me? Anyways, play my sh Yo. Change my voice acting scared the hell out of me. This enormous structure is called the cage. Oh, like a prison type beat that we doing in its shadow. This is how the gameplay is 2D purpose. I don't know nothing about this game. I didn't want to spoil myself. And she will not leave until she has what she desires. True. It's me for her. Oh, so we're okay. So we're clicking to start the thing. Produced by Square Enix. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Okay, developed by Applet Bot. This area. Creative director, Yoko Taro. And as soon as they drop his name, they drop the music. I, I see that. I like that. Hold on. Before I get into that, what's the music sounding like? Wait a minute. Lyrics? I didn't expect it to be 2D like this. I mean, I guess, but I feel like mobile games definitely can push a little bit past this. So I, I mean, hey, but it is what it is. I, I'm not, I'm not hating. Hold oh, no. Okay. I'm playing this on my wedding. Oh, this is where I gotta go. See, but if I go in here, the music gonna stop, dude. Is it? Don't stop the music, please. Hold on. I just noticed I got like a chain on my back. That's not even a chain. That is a leash. Um, all right. Promise Neverland. Okay. So it is 3D. Oh, so okay. Okay. Forget what I was saying. That was just the introduction. Why she got a leash on her though? That kind of hurt my feelings. Take that off. Hey, how do I get to play this game anyways? I'm so glad you asked. The game is available on the App Store and Google Play. It's free to download, free to play, all that good stuff. There's in-app purchases, sure, but just like summoning all the basic stuff. At this point in time, as I'm reading this, I already played the game, so I know that now, but during me playing, I didn't know that. So I might have a reaction to that. The game released recently uh, in English and Korean languages, but it surpassed 600,000 pre-registrations prior to it being a thing. That's kind of a flex. All the players who did pre-register will receive some gifts for 15 free summons. So hey, get on that if you want. Starting from launch, Nier Reincarnation will have a collaboration with Nier Automata, which, you know, you, that's like the Nier game that a lot of people know when they think of Nier, available from July 28th in the English slash Korean versions of Nier Reincarnation. You can download Nier Reincarnation down below, like I mentioned, and the collaboration lasts up until September 7th. The one thing about Nier, how they usually handled their games they started off in a way where you have a lot of questions and normally towards the middle of the end they start answering those questions the one question i have more than anything is am i the only human that exists who's in this bird cage bruh open the door bruh why well, i got a leash on my back though dude <laughs> what this pokemon well look who's finally up mama I, I wasn't expecting you to talk uh, well, I guess I can't. <laughs> Interesting. Oh dear. So you did lose your voice after all. Hmm. So I could talk. Give up and stay silent? Nah, let me try. Hold on. <laughs> you hear me, right? Mama, wait. I can't run that fast, dope. What the? What the heck is this, dope? You've lost so much, but the time has come to reclaim it. Okay. Life Can will I fly be much too? harder if you can't speak after all. You spit in. These stairs are the entrance to your prison. A place known as the cage. Uh-huh. What this? Mama? Opening the menu already, are we? Yes. Mama was planning to give you an explanation later. Are you sure you want to fiddle with it now? Uh, yes. We can summon. Okay, so mobile game through and through in that aspect. You can obtain weapons that help help you in battle here. Let's go. Oh. 
Okay. I'm assuming gold is like the peak. Oh, this summoning kind of got me like feeling away. I got a weapon for real, dude. All right. What's this one? I got a pistol. That's that's something. Uh, four star. Okay. Yep. What's this looking like? Give me three star. Okay. So is purple better? Purple might be better than gold. I, I want to say there got to be a five star, right? But then again, she's a banner character. So maybe. Oh, no, that's okay. No, no, no. That is that is the best. Hold on. Let me see what she got. That the other ones don't got. Well, okay. She got 5,000 attack, 3,000. Oh, I'm busting for real. Uh, I'm going to just summon on this one, actually. Let me, let me just do this real quick. Take it away. Take it away, mama. Oh, I got one good one. All right. And then this is banner character. Oh, mock machine. Oh, that is the the banner character. That's the one in the, the lead, right? Damn, I got two heavy hitters real talk, though. That's actually tough. I kind of want like something in my gut tells me I should have her. Is it possible to not? OK, let me not say that now. Let me see what I get before I jinx myself. It is. Uh, I was going to say, is it possible to not get a four star? Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Oh, oh, I can get three star other care. I didn't even I didn't even think that this could be a character. because all I got was weapons before, but OK, I think this is the end of the line for me. If I'm not going to hold you, but let me skip and just spoil myself for real, real quick. We'll talk. Oh, what's this? Oh, OK, well, I got 2B, I got A2 and I got whoever this is. I'm feeling confident in this account. I can't do anything with teams or anything yet. So I guess that was the extent of that. All right, well, let's move. So now back to the story itself. So Mama really is a mama. I wonder where all of this sand is going. I also wonder this. So, yeah, she seems to care for us, whoever us is. I don't think we have a name yet, but if she cares for us, why wasn't she with us, with us walking in the in the woes by herself? Like. But all of a sudden now she's following us like crazy not adding up though. What's this? OK, that thing looks creepy. These strange statues are scattered throughout the cage. So the cage is bigger than just OK, this I is all the cage. Them, but I call them dark scarecrows. OK, scaring anyway, all the blessings away this is the first one. So we'll start here. OK. What you want me to do to this thing? Enter. Story? What you mean by that? Oh, OK. <laughs> OK, I mean, like, I wish Mama would have warned me. I'm getting sucked into the scarecrow itself. His body rust shadow down in the waist. What? What just happened? Who this? Who this? A boy of good upbringing moves across a vast wasteland. True. What else? The taciturn man follows. The boy proceeds uneasily, his eyes constantly probing their surroundings, almost as if he fears they are being followed. By who? Suddenly, a dreary town emerges from the dust. The boy suggests they take their rest, and the man nods silently. I'm like immersed by all of this, bro. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm all figuring out my detective stuff. Like, what? Is that a gun? Nearby eatery, hoping to shake the road from their weary. Not the eatery. Everybody's whipping over here. Why everybody got a gun and I got a like a, a walking, stick? They find a group of bounty hunters gathered at their destination. Oh. The lead hunter stares at the child, appraising him. You royalty, boy? His voice is rad. The boy remains oh. silent, his head hanging low. Bro, what? <laughs> Lack of response. The bounty hunter suddenly drops. Oh my gosh! Two shots ring out and fade into the dusk. This is why, like, what was the stick for? We were not equipped for this Did fight. Did you see the flock of black birds that possessed the bounty hunter? No. No. They're nasty sorts who like to fly in and warp the story. Well, we are not going to let that stand, are we? I guess. Your role is to defeat them and put the story back the way it's supposed to be. Huh? But I suppose you already know that, don't you? No! What are you assuming so much of me for? What in the Prince of Persia? Perhaps True. <laughs> 
Okay. Hunter suddenly draws his gun. Okay. And here, the, okay, that's when the crow do his thing. And we're okay. This is our first actual fight. Oh, this music busted! Oh, let me find out this busting, but who are these? This is not a crow. I don't really. Is this all auto attack? I don't know what's happening here, bro. I don't know what's happening here. Okay, I can do something soon. I press this. Okay, I press this. I am like, there's no tutorial for this at all. Like, I I just don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, I can move on my own. Ouch. So I lock onto you. And then even if I don't press anything, you're gonna auto. How can I turn that off? Lock on to you. Okay, I'm just gonna press all these and just blow you up. The fighting combat, I would appreciate a tutorial first a little bit, because I wave one. So some sometimes I guess this goes in the waves or something. Oh, this is me? Okay. Oh, this must be like a special or something. Having defeated the hunters, the I, man turns to his Okay. Charge. Are you hurt, my prince? I am well, replies the boy. But remember, I am no longer a prince. So he's watching over him, obviously. A smile and a touch of regret. He proposes they take their leave of the tower. Uh huh. The man silently nods. This is how the story is supposed to go. On the boy's face. Because they said I gotta put the story back to normal, right? So I'm guessing this is yeah, this is how it's supposed to be. So are we, is our job to like restore the timelines distortion from some being? It looks like it. We fixed the scarecrow. So would that mean that that's inside us? Like we get the crow thing? Sticky exile departure. Oh, we get items for that. I need a tutorial on the, the, the combat, bro. You lost me. Memories like this okay. In order to restore complete stories. Fair enough. But we also need to collect weapons like these. Makes sense. Oh, now we're walking into the void. Now, what is mama under all this? Like, I'm trying to, like, maybe I shouldn't be looking up this. That's rude. I'm sorry, but just reveal yourself, mama. What's this? My, what a beautiful place. This is pretty. I can't fathom how anyone managed to construct something so large. Yeah. This is very pretty. So I'm going to guesstimate that I am the only human in this time period, and I literally just fix things. So I don't know if human's the correct word because they do have androids and what have you in this universe. So I think it'll be fair to you say I am that, an android, the last one. The cage, and you should do what you can to shoo them all out. This thing? If you do that, it's a glitch. Mama will give you a nice surprise. I like surprises. All right, shoo. Tap, 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 tap. All right. Oh, another memory. Memory number two. I can't even make a team yet, so I guess I'm going with whatever they give me in this story. Wherever people gather, stories come with them. Okay. But saloons have a special ability to loosen even the tightest of lips. You spitting? They drinking. Are what brings the woman with the mechanical arm and leg to this place? Okay. For she is a bounty hunter. Hmm. So you learn too much, ma'am. I gotta put you down. I'm imagining he's saying blocks the woman's path. True. His breath is ragged and foul. His eyes a pair of tiny beads. True. Give me all your money. He howled. Oh, he has nothing to do with what I'm looking for. And this is where I get shot. Yep, there goes the crows and there goes me. Oh, no, we just fight. So now, OK, I thought it was going to be a pattern of me seeing me die every time as it's not supposed to be. So now frame one, I just interrupt that. That that business. All right, let me try to figure out the gameplay to some notion. Okay. I'll cut down everything in my way. Yeah, you do that. Okay, so when I click on somebody, no, I don't do nothing. This is them hitting me is getting up my 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 ultimate attack. So I got autos. The autos happen no matter what. So let me make sure this does this does she use this automatically too? I'm not gonna click it. I want to see what happens. Okay, autos happen no matter what. This isn't being okay. Thank you. You can use character skills once the corresponding gauge is filled. The gauge fills whenever you deal or take damage. Character abilities activate automatically during battle. You can have a variety of effects uh, as such. Oh, okay, I'll click this. That's like my 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 character trait, my special move type B, right? As as far as I know. All right, cool. So what do I, what happens when I press this? Devouring Fleet Foot. Don't know what that one does. What does this do? devouring vigor i don't know the boost but it looks like i can see it down here 
So I'm assuming this makes me faster and this makes me hit a little harder. There's a term for this. Is it auto chest? I don't know if that fits for this, but I remember hearing that being described for like a game prior. So everything's automatic and then you're just shifting the tide of battle in your character's favor. Okay, I get the combat. It's a little different. Um, it's definitely, I don't think I've ever played something like this before, uh, but I, it's not hard to get used to. It's, I mean, for the most part, if I'm just over leveled, like it, the fight's gonna fight itself. So I feel like I'd only have to try hard depending if I'm not ready. So am I supposed to believe that mama genuinely cares about me and I'm not just a tool because I don't think that's the case. I think whatever my wish is, is not a wish that I truly had, but one that's imposed upon me. Story number three, the gunslinger, his body rust. Okay. Oh, guy. Okay. Okay. So these are returning characters of this. Is this in the order how it's supposed to happen? It's me. I'm man's. All right. Oh, can I click that? Never mind. I click this one. Okay, that's only on the outside where I can click on the crows. Apples. Here he is searching for food. I found it. It's a squirrel. It seems the man is not the only one searching for food. It's not a squirrel. I'm back in the church, boys. Dilapidated chapel. Dilapidated though. Interesting back. word. His face drawn and haggard. Hello, boy that lies in the back, face drawn and haggard. Are you tired? The man Here's an apple. And offers some of the food he collected. Take the food, boy, in the back. Dilapidated. It's too weak to hold it. What happened to the ball? Oh. Not allow him to accept even this meager meal. So y'all trying to make me sad? Frame one. The boy tries to brush it off with a feeble smile, but the man just stares down at him in silence. He's about to die. Not the boy about to die, bruh. That was the same boy who held the stick before, and I can only assume. The boy has an illness or something as to why this happened to him. That's the only thing that makes sense. Mama, what you know about this story? Cause I need, I need to know some right at this point. Is this the boy's stick that he, oh, it's mine now. Well, well it's not, they all had a stick. So to I'm just too, poor sick child had okay. To travel the wastes in his condition. He was sick. Still, we've restored the third memory now. Yes. If we can collect the next one. It will mark the end of the staff's tale. Oh, so this staff is the same staff he had. What? Okay, I'm I'm starting to understand, but within understanding, I'm starting to get sad. <laughs> His body rust journeys in. Oh, they're about to make this sad. The I woman think. Woman who set out from town finally arrives at a wild wood. Okay. Is she looking to kill the boy, or the dude protecting the boy? She comes across the ruins of a once proud church. Oh no, bruh. The ceiling is collapsed. The walls are mere suggestions. Bruh, don't do it. Lady. Hey. But in the very back of the church, she finds a deteriorated clockwork soldier. The boy probably as died, well huh? The corpse of a boy. <gasps> as the woman approaches, the clockwork soldier suddenly rises. He levels his weapon at her and lets fly with a fierce What? I can't tell this is her target, but I can't tell if he's not possessed by something or not. The music just turned up on me real quick. So the boy has been dead for some time, I can only imagine. And if he is bones, that means he was human, not an android, right? Oh, he's possessed. He's possessed. Okay, okay, okay. Ow. <laughs> um, I really just can't do nothing besides just assume what he's about to do next. Lock? All right, let me remember what this does real quick. This gives me, I can't even tell. Okay, it makes me faster, so I'm assuming my attacks come faster. This gives me like attack up type B. Ow. All right, true. Yes, I think that's what that does. Attack up. Yeah, okay. So now I'm doing damn large. I don't try to pay attention. That did like 106, one, oh, and a crit. 106, 108. When this goes away, I want to see what my attack's looking like without it. Makes no sense. Why is that way more? Make, make some consistency. Cleave. True. What is this? Oh, true. All right. Let me see. Okay, give me a regular attack without all that extra. Stop hurting me. Okay, so it is a significant downgrade in a sense. I was at 106, 108, and then I went to 90s, two digits type B, and he's dead. Did we actually just kill him? Is that my target? Bruh. 
The woman accesses the logs of the fallen soldier. So he's an android or something. Well, she is too, maybe. Boy was a prince, driven from his kingdom. Okay. The clockwork soldier traveling with him was his guardian. Okay. But alas, the boy's disease worsened, and he perished. Is this the same disease in now alone, Replicant? The man remained behind and continued to safeguard his charge, killing any who dare approach the body. Wow. For a hundred years. Wow. Stood watch. Their kingdom fallen. His body rust. His mind shadow. Yoko Taro and his duffel with this story. To protect his friend. Wow. The woman builds a grave to mourn the pair and leaves the forest without a word. That wasn't even her target. And that's the story of the staff. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why did you hurt me? What is my opinion of this though? Am I just really like a blank slate? I, I'm not making any grunt sadly. Who was driven away from his own country. And before breaking down, the machine tried so hard to guard his master's body. <sighs> this memory marks the end of the story they left behind inside the staff. But what now? Well done, child. Do you see how the proper story is now stored inside the staff? Yes. What I do with this? We still have a long way to go. I I believe you when you say that, but I'm already an hour deep in recording, <laughs> and that was the end of a really cool story. So let me know what you think down below, and make sure you click the link down below to download the game yourself if you're interested.